Chaplin, a burial ground is a sacred ground. It doesn't matter if a person died a week ago, a year ago, 100 years ago. And that's why the people who found this are so upset. Exposed vaults, headstones overturned, and even some bones were found way in the back of the Utica Cemetery in Shelby Township by a local man and his wife two days ago while they were looking for her ancestors. When I seen the uh, bones on top of the ground, I said, this can't be right. Something's wrong. Tim Green came back yesterday and took some pictures of everything he could, and then he says he called everyone he could think of to find out why these old graves and markers of someone's loved ones were left like this. I just think it's sad that uh, a person's remains could be left that way. They've been cutting down trees for the past year about. People who live behind the cemetery, which opened in 1817 and is still operating, say years ago they couldn't really see anything. But with the erosion of land and tree removal, all that has changed. And they say if older graves have been disturbed and disrespected in any way, they need to be fixed. And Tim Green says he is thinking the very same thing. I would hope that they would uh, at least straighten the headstones up that they can find. And, and try to place them back where they go. And the bones that are scattered around, uh, at least try to pick them up, bury them, whatever. I think it's kind of creepy, actually. Now, the Utica Cemetery is privately owned. It's well kept. It's huge for the most part. It is so well kept. We tried to get a hold of the owners. We emailed, we called, we called township officials. It is a Friday night. There is a chance the owner might even know what's going on way in the back of the cemetery. The bottom line is, though, it needs to be fixed. Also, Tim Green called the Shelby Township Police, and they want to see the photos of the bones, and he'll be meeting with police tomorrow. We'll be watching the story, and of course, we will keep you posted. Reporting live in Utica, I'm Cheryl Choden, Channel 7 Action News.